Let's talk about accessing UTQuest for Honors Chemistry assignments. When you log on to UTQuest for the first time, after you have obtained a UTEID and set up a password, there is a link at the bottom that says to enroll in new course. If you click on this link, it will give you a box to put in the unique ID that your instructor provides you to enroll you in your correct section. Once you are enrolled, when you log in, it should come up. If it doesn't, make sure you have selected the correct institution and semester. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the class. That will bring up the information and it will bring up whatever assignments you have to work on. They have a start date, and a due date. Yours may not look precisely like this right now because you may only have one assignment available depending on how your instructor has set up the class. So if you want to work on a particular assignment, you have a couple of options. I'm going to go ahead and open up this assignment. will automatically open up like this where it looks kind of like a printed out worksheet. And in this case, you can scroll down the printed out worksheet and you can use the response box to type in your responses. And you can use this to select the number for the multiple choice. I find this a little clunky to work with. So what I like to do is click over here where it says slides. Okay. That way it will show you one question at a time. You can click to go forward through different questions because it may be that the way that it shuffled the questions if you're starting early in the week, we, you may not have covered that material yet. And so you may need to click forward through a question to find something that you can already do. But you would then type in your response in the box and click submit answer. Or go through to the next, to a question that you want to answer and select the option and hit submit. So I would do this, click submit, and it would tell me whether my answer is correct or incorrect. Now, if I don't want to do all of the assignment at one time, that's fine. Whatever answers you submit will be saved when you exit. If you don't submit the answer, it will not be saved. Any answer that has been submitted will not be changeable when you come back to log in again. And you can see over here, there were those three lines. I clicked on those three lines. That gave me an overview of the assignment and whether I had gotten points or looked at that assignment yet. If I try to go forward without submitting, it will give me a little window that says, hey, you've started to answer, but haven't clicked the submit button. If you're not positive and you don't want to submit, then you can just click OK. If you are positive and you wanted to submit, then you could go back and click cancel and click submit answer. Any answer you submit is saved and graded. That way you can come in and out and work on the UT Quest assignments in as many sessions as you want before they are due.